triangle method. Use the triangle method if you want to rearrange some equations. So the science I do, which is predominantly physics, uh, has a lot of equations. Before you start, you need to be happy with the idea in maths. If you take two letters, A and B, and you times them together, what you're actually saying is A times B is equal to C. So letters next to each other mean times. Next, A over B, and you're happy with the idea that what that actually means is divide. And as long as you know that, and that's basic algebra, you're all right with the triangle method. So, let's have a look. Let's take the equation A is equal to B, C. Now we can rearrange that quite simply, put it in a triangle. The B and the C are next to each other, so we write them in the bottom. There they are, next to each other. That leaves room for the A at the top. Next, we cover up the one we want. So say I wanted B. I cover up the B with my finger. I write B equals. And I say what I see. A is over C. A over C. And there we go, we've rearranged it. What about instead if I wanted C equals? So I cover up the C. I write C equals. And I say what I see. A over B. A over B. Now the two examples in year 9 for this are the speed equation, where speed is equal to distance over time, and the pressure equation, where pressure is equal to force over area. And we can put them into triangles. Here, a bit different, people usually get stuck. The D is already over the T. So we go D over the T, and we put the S in. One way of remembering it is a little trick taught to me by a student. Small and tiny D at the top. Some people just remember it, STD, and snigger a little bit. Uh, and other people don't even need the triangle. Um, the other one... Pressure is force over area. We can do force is already at the top, so F, A is underneath, and that leaves room for P. And we end up with PA, F, PAF, which again, however you want to remember it. So let's have a quick look at the speed one. We can rearrange that to get T equals, and we can rearrange it to get D equals now. So we use our triangle. We remember the places, small, tiny, D at the top. We cover up the T and we say what we see. D over S. D over S. D equals, we cover up the D. And this time we've got the S is next to the T. So, S, T. And if you remember from the first page, when letters are next to each other, you multiply them. All that you've got to do now is throw in the numbers, use a calculator, find the answer, and you will get all of those equations correct. Good luck.